welcome back to Algoma Family Services Community Kitchen at Home Edition. Do you happen to have any picky eaters in your household? I know I do, and if the same goes for you, then you're going to love this week's recipes. We're taking on some childhood favorites with a bit of a hidden vegetable twist. I know personally, as an adult, I have a really hard time fitting in my vegetables into what I'm eating, let alone trying to get the little people in my life to eat them. That's why this week we are going to incorporate vegetables in a fun and low-key way. This week we are making crispy homemade chicken tenders, hidden vegetable mac and cheese, and zucchini brownies. But before we get started, let's wash our hands up with warm soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Let's get started with our crispy homemade chicken tenders. For this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. Two large boneless skinless chicken breast sliced into one inch thick strips. One and a half cups all purpose flour or whole wheat flour. Three quarter teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. One egg beaten with two tablespoons water. And finally, coconut oil or vegetable oil for frying. Fill your skillet about two inches with oil. Start heating it over medium high heat while you bread your chicken. In a large bowl, mix together the flour, salt, and pepper. Beat your egg with two tablespoons of water. Coat the chicken in the flour mixture. Shake off any excess flour and dip into the egg. Then back in the flour once more. Set aside the chicken for about five minutes. This helps the coating to stick a little bit better. Now it's time to check your oil temperature. I like to do this by adding a little bit of flour into the oil. If it sizzles immediately, add in a piece of chicken. Add about five pieces of chicken at a time, cooking them until they're golden brown on one side. This can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Turn and repeat until the other side is golden brown as well. Then cook the rest in batches. Transfer your cooked chicken tenders to a paper lined plate. Season with salt if you desire. Let's move on to our side dish of hidden veggie mac and cheese. This recipe is great for picky eaters, allowing for servings of veggies without the fuss. Although this recipe calls for pureed veggies, you can always choose to add vegetables that aren't pureed. For this recipe, you'll need the following ingredients. 16 ounces of elbow macaroni or any pasta of choice, six tablespoons of butter, two and a half cups of mixed cheese, one cup of milk, one cup of pureed carrots and cauliflower, half a teaspoon of salt, and 
pepper to taste. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Steam your carrots and cauliflower on the stovetop or microwave for 10 minutes. Boil pasta according to the package directions. Drain and then return it to the pot. Puree your vegetables in a blender and then set it aside. Stir in your butter, cheese, veggie puree, milk, salt, and pepper over low heat until well combined. You can do this in stages or all at once. Either way, it's going to taste delicious. Transfer the macaroni into a greased baking dish and bake for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Last, but certainly not least, let's finish off with our zucchini brownies. These brownies are super yummy. You'd never guess that these are made a little bit healthier. I personally am not always a huge fan of zucchini or hiding vegetables in my dessert because most of the time I can taste it in there, but that's definitely not the case with these brownies. They are a pleasant surprise of chocolatey, healthy goodness. For this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. Two large eggs, one tablespoon vanilla extract, three quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, one cup of whole wheat or all purpose flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, two cups of peeled and grated zucchini, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and half a cup of mini chocolate chips to sprinkle on top. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, mix together the eggs, vanilla, sugar, and applesauce. Let this sit for about five minutes to allow the sugar to dissolve. In a separate bowl, mix together the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. Make sure that there are no lumps. Use a sifter if you need to. Add the dry mix to the wet mix and gently stir to combine. Be sure not to over mix. Peel and grate the zucchini. Fold in the zucchini and one cup of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. Pour the batter into a pan and even the surface with your spatula. Sprinkle the mini chocolate chips on top. Bake the brownies for 30 to 35 minutes 